In 2018, Japan-based service provider Rakuten Mobile surprised the industry by announcing a revolutionary approach to building its new network, using multiple infrastructure from multiple partners to create an open cloud-native operation. Last August, it launched Rakuten Symphony, a new business organization to spearhead the global adoption of cloud-native open RAN infrastructure and services. It's now ready to take the next steps with an innovative new platform to help other telecom operators scale their networks with a suite of next generation network software apps. But what exactly is Rakuten Symphony hoping to achieve? And why does CEO Tarek Amin believe his company has the magic source necessary to succeed? Well, I'm delighted to say that Tarek Amin joins us today from Tokyo. Tarek, very good to see you again. I'm not the only one who's been following Rakuten's progress intently in recent years, so too has the whole industry. Now we're going to address the implications of your news announcements, but we're also going to be discussing the broader issues faced by telcos and why you feel that a new approach is urgently needed. Well, let's go back to the, the, the origins of, of Rakuten Symphony for a moment, because it, it comes in part from the Rakuten communications platform, RCP, that you announced back in August as a as a stack of access core cloud and operation solutions. So how did RCP first come about? You know, you, you spoke about um, when you first had that moment, when you, you, you saw the light and realized what was possible. Um, but when were you first convinced that it was actually a business here? Can you just tell us a little bit more about the origin of RCP? So, I mean, I think uh, we've, uh, I've talked about this many times before, but you know, I, I never really envisioned. Uh, I was brought here to build the mobile infrastructure in Japan. You know, my, my job assignment wasn't, hey, Tarek, let's take uh, infrastructure stack that we have done to Japan and globalize it. However, you know, do, during this journey, and I remember in, in 2019, we had our first uh, official call on an open RAN architecture that is an application deployed as a VNF on, on, um, uh, on our cloud in, uh, environment. You know, that day, um, uh, to reach to this one call, the complexity that we had to deal with and the lessons learned was just unprecedented. You know, I quickly, to be very honest with you, I quickly learned that not all clouds are built the same. I had to learn and understand, you know, the difference between a Linux host kernel that is built for IT and a Linux host kernel that requires real-time processing in order to uh, guarantee the predictability that a workload like radio access work. And as we fix these hurdles, they are complex, complex technology challenges, by the way. They are not easy to scale. It is always easy to go into a lab and say, I have done a POC. But to scale and operate at a mass capacity was a daunting challenge. And the more that we continue to fix, the more that we continue to package the solution. Somewhat at the end of 2019, I went to our chairman and CEO, Mickey. I said, Mickey, I think we are really, really doing something that is just amazing. And we should not just leave this in Japan. We should start thinking about how we package the lessons learned, all the issues that we deal with, all the improvements that we have done. It is absolutely our job now to share these experiences with the rest of the world. And of course, packaging this wasn't also trivial, you know, and, and the RCP itself was a concept and idea that started with cloud first, then looking at an opportunity to bring a mature open RAN software on top of the cloud, the operation systems to orchestrate, do the lifecycle management. All of this started to come together. And I said, you know, maybe at the latter end of 2019 is when we realized that we need to take this out. And as we launched this network and we continue to improve it, and the commercial launch was around April, 2020, it became absolutely clear to us that we have to take this to the rest of the world. I read a comment at the launch of Symphony that said you were looking to solve practical problems at an industry scale. What do you mean by that? So I, I, we constructed or deconstructed the way that networks are planned, engineered and operated across the various silos of organization that exist in any mobile operator, regardless of geography. And one of the key you know, things that just absolutely appear to us is the fragmentation of applications that one needs to manage the entire technology stack. 
And what I mean by that is, uh, let's assume you're an engineer and you say, you know, I will require an application to do fault management, performance management, configuration, accounting, security. By the time you're done, if you're a large operator, you might end up with thousands, thousands of silos application that are not interconnected. They have different data architecture platforms. And the way that we dealt with this as an industry is said, okay, well, let them be siloed. Then we'll build uh, data connectors on top of them. We'll build data lake architecture. Then we'll build AI. But to us, you know, we thought this is just absolutely a legacy way in terms of how you should deal with modern technology architecture. It is not just about the cloud. It is also about the data that you need to manage the cloud and the applications on top of the cloud. And one of the most intriguing ideas was, which we announced, was about SimWorld. Now, for us, the industrialization of how you browse, consume, purchase, deploy, anything and everything you need to run and manage your network will be offered through SimWorld. Now, SimWorld is the world first telecom app store for the entire network infrastructure, whether it is large applications that you require for IMS Core, Open RAN, or applications that you would need for OSS or BSS. The ability to browse, no different than what you browse in your mobile devices, these sets of applications, consume them, purchase them, deploy them, um, gives you a unification on this architecture, gives you an industrialization that hasn't happened before. You don't need to go to 20 screens to run and manage your network. We have consolidated everything into a single pane of view, and that is an amazing disruption. I don't think this has ever happened in telecommunication networks. The idea of SimWorld is disruptive, and the, uh, the concepts that come with it Although we are at early days, SimWorld, I think, is going to be the game changer. SimWorld is not just only for Racket and own application. We will absolutely open SimWorld as an application store for everyone. We want SimWorld to enable the fast-paced transformation that is needed into this industry and the industrialization that is required to be able to run at scale and manage at scale your network. It is absolutely the path to hyperscale. So you say you want SimWorld to be the app store for everything and everyone. What, what, what do you mean? What constitutes an app store? I mean, I, I think if, if I take it, first of all, it is absolutely built for telecom. So it's definitely not intended for you to host gaming uh, games and other things. Though so there is many of other app stores that exist today. But it, but it is now our view that the consolidation of the entire network manageability application into a common uh, application stack, the ability for you as a vendor partner to come and onboard and put your applications su such that others could purchase it through our app store. Um, uh, you know, If you really think about it in the essence of maybe your Android or iOS phones, it is the exact concept of what you, we all enjoyed on our mobile devices, but now we're taking it to the telecom industry. And all of these con uh, consolidation of application, if you take 2,000 applications and now we reduce them into a handful that you would need to run the entirety of your architecture, your network, whether it is from service assurance, fault management, performance management, configuration of this network, they're all now consolidated. And I think that's delivering not just only, of course, a significant cost reduction, but actually more of an operational efficiency that you're able to manage this network from just one, um, one consolidated view, uh, one application store, uh, one billing system. I think there's a lot of advantages that SimWorld is going to bring to the telecom industry. So here you are then, huge set of challenges, huge scale, effectively a blank sheet of paper to create a new mindset, a new way of working. What happened? What results have you seen so far? Well, I mean, the, the biggest thing, if you really consider, um, you know, our journey, I mean, again, uh, as you mentioned earlier, uh, Racket and Symphony as an entity is, is a really infant startup. We're, we're less than a year old, um, you know, and when you look at the progress that we have made, you know, from, uh, um, you know, closing now to $3 billion in booking uh, since, uh, since we started, to me, that's a great progress. It shows clearly 
that the messaging, the messages are of what symphony want to do and what symphony wants to solve as real problem have resonated with the market. It shows that we are approaching the problems from a completely, completely different way from um, uh, addressing and the architecture, addressing the operation, and addressing the way of how applications are delivered to our end customers. And also, it shows that Racket and Symphony and its um, uh, dedicated employees are looking at the problem a little bit differently. We recognize that to solve and address the pace of transformation that is required, we cannot just say, well, here is SimWorld, here's our applications, and leave you to be able to consume this on our own. We recognize that we have to partner and collaborate, open up together, joint R&D and Innovation Center with our partners and our colleagues. The collaboration that we will drive and the announcements that you've heard and why we're investing, for example, in Europe, it is all about partnership collaboration for the better of the industry. So uh, yes, indeed, I think the messages has been absolutely overwhelmingly positive. It does not mean that we don't have challenges and I am not underestimating the complexity of scale that we have to do to build the delivery engine, to build the support engine, to build the engineering engine. But I can tell you, I am feeling confident that we are absolutely the right disruptor that is needed for this industry. I am feeling confident that we are the right collaborator and our approach is all about inclusion. Symphony itself cannot exist without the help and the support of a larger ecosystem. So, um, you know, we're, we're very optimistic. And uh, so far, the early signs look extremely promising for Rocket and Symphony. Can I ask you, Tarek, is, is SimWorld, in a way, building on the, on the RIC ecosystem model of applications and, and developers? You know, that's, a, that's a one, also another great, great question. And thank you for asking this. Um, I think SimWorld does RIC plus, plus, plus. SimWorld integrates the ideas and the concept of what Rick wants to do for X apps. And if you look at X apps today, it is thought of, of applications to do maybe an example for you, real time or non real time, self organizing network applications to handle uh, in closed loop environment uh, network optimization. But SimWorld does that plus more. SimWorld takes RIC to the next level. SimWorld not only focus on um, you know, the manageability of the network, but SimWorld uh, addresses also other application that horizontal organization might need. Let me give you an example of this. In addition to XApps and SON application and service assurance application, the application that you will find in SimWorld could be as simple as unified horizontal digital workflow platform, customer experience management platform. So while the industry talks about RIC, we have evolved and Symphony has evolved to do something much more bigger than RIC in terms of integration of all the great things the industry wants to do in RIC and incorporating all the other IT applications that a telecommunication company would need, all served within one consolidated view, consolidated architecture. So that's our view is, RIC now as a platform collapse into SimWorld architecture. SimWorld is an absolute unified application store that will do a lot more than the X apps that are being envisioned for, for RIC.